Hello everyone, this is Sarvik and in this video we'll be discussing about a cool automated tool which helps you in finding vulnerabilities in Jira. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect with me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. And if you want to be part of this channel's community, you can check out my Discord server. All the relevant links are in the description below. So if you don't know, Jira is like a software, so which is like sort of a board. So I'll keep it simple. So it's sort of a board where you can manage your uh, project activities. Like for example, take an example of this particular image. So there are few uh, options here like to do in progress and done. These are like sort of timeline sort of thing. So to do in the sense like which are going to be done in progress done like these can be many like some may be in like on hold, some can be on like completed and under review sort of thing. So like once for example, assume that uh, you there is some pro, uh, task to do, you can put it in in progress like so that it will be notified as it is in progress. And one cool thing is like you can add comments, you can add relevant stuff, you can assign it to someone in your team sort of thing. So where this is used is like it is used everywhere, like every software company or like almost every company that I know or like almost all the companies they use this Jira software. So like it's easy for them to manage or like track what's happening in their project. Okay, so that is one thing. So I created a test uh, Jira. Uh, you can see you can go to this atlasian.net and you can even you can create your own uh, what you say uh, Jira board sort of thing. You can see I created something like I can create something like uh, a record video. Okay, so I think I didn't create it. I created a record video so I'm putting in progress okay so you can see if I double click you can add some comments you can assign it to any one sort of thing once it is done you can move it it's a sort of like Kanban board sort of thing but this is like all on internet so you don't need to worry about anything like you can add comments like you have a lot more functionalities to do so that be that is like a small introduction about Jira like who don't know like one more thing that I want to tell uh, I, why I'm covering this video is like uh, like Jira is available for every company like when you're doing bug bounty or sort of thing like there is a huge chance that you can encounter a Jira uh, instance related to their company. So like you can follow these steps and uh, you can try to find any vulnerability and if you feel those vulnerabilities are like really useful or like are really critical or some sort of informational sort of thing you can do let the company know and they'll pay you. So this video will be discussing about an automated framework but in the next video we'll be discussing about uh, uh, what you say in a manual way how to do it in a manual way like almost both are same so we'll cover the automated framework first so there is a tool called jiraya so jiraya if you know like he's a famous character in naruto so so like you can see uh, jira yet another vulnerability analyzer so this is like cool like this is like a recent tool itself like uh, it's released recently and I've been using it and it is working fine. So it is based on Python 3 and you can see how you work is like uh, you have like two options like single instance. Like if you are only having a single domain, you can give it like that. Like if you're having multiple targets to test, you can give hyphen hyphen list and provide a text file with all the uh, URLs which you find like Jira, like whether Jira is running or not. And it also has a time machine like it go it time machine in the sense like it uses way back URLs and it tries to fetch the results or scan uh, for all those uh, previous uh, what you say uh, way back URLs. So like pretty simple you can see what it is test what it tests for like uh, unauthenticated Jira dashboards like you sometimes you can access the Jira dashboard unauthenticatedly like most of the time you should be authenticated if not like you can see right for example. Let us assume that I'm having a big production environment which has like a dashboard. Like for example, if there is something like unauthenticated access, like I can just view it, right? What's happening or some sort of stuff. Like it will be definitely critical. So you can see access to the Jira project categories. Like there are some CVs as well. So blind SSR availability, cross-site scripting, like it tests for everything. Okay, you can also refer to this uh, thing like CV details. Uh, what are all the CVs that are available? And if you want, you can go through them. Okay, so... Yeah, that's it. Let's start installation this tool. Let's let's start installing this tool and uh, let's go ahead. So copy the URL. So this is my instance. Like you can try it on your Kali. You can try it on your Windows. It works fine. This is Python three tool. So make sure you have Python three. So uh, sudo uh, apt install Python three as well as pip. 
okay so do that i am already i already have it so i'm not going to do that so now git clone and uh, paste the url i already have this tool so i'm going to get that so go to navigate to the url okay so you here you have like few files like requirements.txt is a file uh, which uh, which installs all the requirement that this particular python file requires so how to do that so pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt so i already installed that so i'm not going to do that but if you are not doing it for the first time it will take a little bit of time and then you will be good to go now give an executable rights here you can see i already have an executable right here like you can see i have x permission here but uh, by default you won't get it so chmod plus x and give the file name it will do the trick so that's it like that is how you can do it and python 3 now you can uh, run like this python 3 hyphen uh, help like oh, sorry jiraiya jiraiya and hyphen hyphen help so do let me know how many guys uh, watch naruto so do let me know in the chat so we'll see so yeah you can see you have like only few options single url i'll only test for the single url but if you are on like uh, real time hunting like you'll find multiple urls so you can test list option as well and the time machine is i'm not going to do that because i just created this instance uh this instance i created recently so there won't be much stuff but if you are working on some real company right so there will be some instances like uh, which uh, gives you some wayback url stuff so there it will be useful okay so now let's do that so python 3 hyphen hyphen single uh and do note that give only the domain name okay so don't give https i'll show you why you shouldn't give https so dot net you can see uh it is running for like HTTP. it is adding https by default so like only give the domain name so only give the domain name so it will do the trick so you can see it is uh, jira is running and it's using google as collaborator uh it's fine so for ssrf and sort of stuff it is using google as a collaborator and let's wait for some time so there are few vulnerabilities because i didn't uh, gave any permissions you can see unauthenticated access to the jira dashboard so let me copy this url okay and let me open this in uh, a private window because i already logged in right so let me check here let's see you can see it is giving me access to all the dashboard like what it is having and sort of stuff raw data sort of stuff like you can test it okay like uh you should you shouldn't blindly base on this tool okay so uh, sometimes it may be valuable or sometimes it may not be valuable so like test it out manually and if you feel it's like vulnerable you can just go ahead and report it okay to the uh, relevant authorities and author unauthenticated access to the admin projects as well so Okay, so you can see there is a CV information disclosure of all existing users. So let's try this thing. Maybe this may be useful. I'm not sure because I just created this instance uh, showing zero matching users. I think it is not showing up. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Okay. So there is user enumeration as well. So, uh, okay. So here you can see this, there is this endpoint here. Like you can see uh, at the rate username equals to admin. So admin is not the user here. So that's the reason it is not showing up anything but like there will be some users out there okay like uh, small uh, like jira admin there are some admins you can find so you can give the value here like in the place of admin and you can see whether they are coming up or not so that is one thing so and one more thing there is one more option let's go with the help option once again so there is time machine so we'll use this thing let's see what we'll get I didn't try to be honest. I didn't try this uh, time machine thing. Uh, storing in. Okay. So what happens? So cat. So there is nothing because there, there are no, this is like new instance. So you won't find many way back URLs. So that is it guys. Like, uh, uh, like you can just use this tool, like to identify any sort of vulnerabilities or sort of thing. Uh, okay so you can see the username here is like uh off hack 7 or something i guess so offensive hacker the username is offensive hacker so admin is not going to show up but just try it out okay maybe you may, you may get it and that's it guys like uh this is all for this video so in the next video i'll be covering how you can do check them manually okay like without using any automated tools or sort of stuff uh, like you can just uh edit some sort of urls and you can try to get the vulnerabilities like you can check whether they are coming up or not 
so if you do end up liking this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in these sort of stuff uh, this is atvik signing off i'll meet you in the next video thank you